Today we're here with Mike. We're tasting some fantastic whiskeys, including a 21-year-old scotch and a sparkling rosé. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Tim from Elma Wine and Liquor. Today I'm here with Mike from Southern Wine and Spirits, and we are going to be tasting through a few different whiskeys and a sparkling rosé. All right, so what do we have up first? So I have a 21-year-old uh, Singbalt uh, Aberfeldy. Um, pretty awesome. It's a Highland Scotch. Um, you want to see for yourself? Stays with you. A lot of body. Um, 21 year old. Nice. Very nice. Very smooth. Uh, the, the, the flavors from the oak definitely come through. I get a little vanilla and some toffee notes to it. Uh, what, what does that mean when it's aged for 21 years? So it means that, that all the, the scotch inside has the minimum of 21 years. Could be a 25, could be a 30. It's just that is the, the youngest age in the bottle. And that's, that's the age, the amount of years that it spends in the oak barrels, not in the bottle, uh, but it's bottled after it's spent at least 21 years in the oak barrels. Okay, tell me more. So this is an Elijah Craig. It's a small batch uh, bourbon which means it's a, it's a dump, uh, a blend of 200 uh, single barrels into one little batch, and that's what a small batch is called. It's 94 proof, very easy drinking, doesn't drink like a 94 proof. Um, now you can tell right from the nose, from the, the smell of it, you can smell the sweetness and the sugar. Um, the bourbons tend to be, well they have to be made with more corn, so they're, they tend to be sweeter, and this definitely holds true to that. Very, very sweet, very smooth, and it, you're right, it doesn't taste like it's 94 proof, but it, uh, what it is, and you kind of feel it on the end, on the finish. You put a little bit of water with it, you know, it, it, it actually opens up a little bit, makes it a little more easier to, to drink, so those people who like to add some ice or water with it is okay too. So up next we have the Evan Williams Peach. Um, yep, so it's made with Evan Williams bourbon um, with uh, peach liqueur. Very peachy nose. Uh, it smells like you're about to bite into a fresh, ripe peach. Uh, the flavor is also there, very strong, very sweet. It's a little bit thicker than a regular bourbon. I suppose that's from the liqueur added in. And, um, and then it's, it finishes very sweet, very smooth. Uh, and then, so you'd call it a bourbon with a liqueur added, right? Yep. So they start with the Evan Williams bourbon and then they add in the peach flavor liqueur. So it's not a bourbon itself, but it is made with bourbon. And it's, it's very good, it's very reasonably priced generally. Um, good for a summer drink, mix it with uh, some iced tea or something like that, maybe even some lemonade. Yep. Good, all right, what's up next? Mike? So this is Martini and Rossi Rosé, it's an Italian rosé. Um, it is a medium dry, uh, not as sweet as the Asti, it's not as dry as a, as a uh, Prosecco. It has a lot of strawberry flavor, so it's very easy drinking on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, a uh, lot of strawberries on the nose. Get yeah, very fresh, ripe strawberries. Reminds me of summer uh, sitting outside. The, uh, the flavors are there as well. Uh, there's some other berries in there too. And it, the very fine bubbles, so it's not like it's, uh, it's not like drinking a can of pop or soda where the bubbles just take over your mouth. It's very subtle uh, and kind of a touch of acidity on the finish, which leaves you wanting to take another sip or two or ten. Um, it'd be a good good summer afternoon drink. After aperitif, you know, after dinner. Um, could also be used for a brunch. Uh, you could even throw some some orange juice or something, some some other type of fruit juice in it to make a mimosa or a version of mimosa. So great. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, for being here, Mike. We thank you for appreciate the, uh, the samples and the education. And thank you all for watching. Uh, we look forward to your feedback and comments and questions. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.